What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So, with that said, Tim Zhu, former WBO junior middleweight world champion, son of a legend, Costa Zhu, that being Tim Zhu, he suffered the first loss of his career this past Saturday where he took on the towering inferno, Sebastian Fundora, and he lost. Tim Zhu, in the second round, suffered a gash from an elbow. Elbow. Ah. Fundora was trying to catch it. Boom. Tim Zhu ran right into it. Boom. A gash on the top of Tim Zhu's head. The blood was trickling down his eyes repeatedly, uncontrollably, and he lost a split decision, and he lost his WBO belt. And he had the opportunity to pick up the WBC. So he lost, shockingly. He was the favorite. Now, he was initially supposed to face off against Keith one-time Thurman. But Keith Thurman, he suffered an injury. Torn bicep. That saw Keith Thurman have to pull out the fight. And that saw Sebastian Fedora fill in. Fedora was already going to fight on the undercard. And now, in a turn of events, see, initially... After Fandora won, he's the newly crowned unified WBC WBO champion. And he stated that he wanted to now fight the former unified welterweight three belt world champion, superstar, Earl the Truth Spence Jr. In Dallas, at AT&T Dallas Cowboys Stadium. Well, it was really Arlington, Texas, right? So he says that he wants to face off against Earl Spence. But there was a wrench thrown in the plans. And that wrench comes in the form of the best fighter in the world. And Terrence Bud Crawford, who petitioned for the WBO mandatory position, right? And so now the WBO, President Mr. Paco, they inform Sebastian Fundora on Monday following the fight on Saturday and let him know you officially been served and you have to begin negotiation and come to an agreement with Terrence Bud Crawford by April 25th, or you're going to be stripped of your title. And suddenly, a light bulb went off in the head of the team of Sebastian Fundora, Samson Likowit, Louis DeCubas. Now they're saying that, you know something? Because, see, the fans in the boxing world, together as a whole, they feel like it was a disservice to Tim Zhu. Seeing as though he took this fight on 12-day notice against Sebastian Fedora and giving Fedora his opportunity, he didn't have to. And then he suffered a major gash on his head that prevented him from being 100%. And when it was accidental, it was incidental. Right? And he couldn't perform like he wanted to. And still fought 12 rounds and only lost a split decision. So imagine if he didn't have that. So the fans said... Tim Zhu deserves his opportunity. Now, they did not have an official rematch clause, but Sebastian Fundora's team is saying this. Well, we verbally agreed that we would have a rematch, and we want to stand on our morals and give Tim Zhu a rematch. That's because Terrence Bud Crawford is nipping at their heels. See, they, they like their chances against Errol Spence, who's coming off a bad loss to Terrence Crawford, July 29th. Las Vegas, Nevada, T-Mobile Arena, where he got dropped in the second round, twice in the seventh, then stopped in the ninth, right? And so from that point forward, right, Errol Spence is viewed by Sebastian Fundora as an easier time. Even Sebastian Fundora's team, they're saying, well, you know what? Terrence Crawford is the best fight in the world. But Errol Spence is a bigger draw. We'll make more money fighting Errol Spence. And now suddenly, Sebastian Fondora and his team are saying, well, you know something? If we force to fight Terrence Crawford or be stripped of our belts, we can make the same amount of money actually fighting against Terrence Crawford as we would Tim Zhu in a rematch. Because there's so much demand for the Tim Zhu rematch. That they say, well, we might as well give Tim Zhu a rematch. And then they cited a medical reason because now they don't want to be stripped. And so since they're citing a medical reason saying that 
he physically won't be able to perform. He's suspended now for six months until September, which realistically means he won't be able to fight two months after September. He's cleared in September. He won't fight in September. So he's cleared to then negotiate for a fight two months after, which would be November. Now, it's ironic that his team stated two days before the notice came out that he was suspended, before the Boston World was notified that he was suspended for six months. Tim Zhu's team came out and stated that Tim Zhu, excuse me, Sebastian Fondora's team came out and stated that Sebastian Fondora won't be fighting again until November. That was two months. That was two days, 48 hours before the boxing world was actually notified by the boxing commission. Hmm. Because they don't want to be forced into a fight with Terrence Crawford or be stripped. And so now they're saying they want to do their due diligence and do what's right morally and give Tim Zhu the opportunity since they'll make the same amount of money fighting Tim Zhu as they would Terrence Crawford. Now, here's the thing. Tim Zhu has now finally broken his silence. And Tim Zhu is saying, you know something? I'm going to rise again like the Phoenix. I'm going to rise again like Muhammad Ali is what he said. And be a world champion again after Muhammad Ali lost to Joe Frey. Smoking Joe Frey. Bang! Left hook. Bang! So, unfortunately, he's not Muhammad Ali. And unfortunately, Sebastian Fondora is not. Joe Frazier, right? Terrence Crawford is closer to that greatness than they are. Now, Tim Zhu's father, Costa Zhu, is a legend. So with that said, right? Tim Zhu is saying that I promise I'll beat, I'll win and beat Fundora in the rematch. And I had Stitch Duran, Jacob Stitch Duran, the legend, who stated that that cut won't be a problem. It won't reopen. So they expected to see Sebastian Fundora in the rematch in November. That's not surprising. Because they don't want to fight Terrence Bud Crawford. So let's see how this unfolds. Let's see if all belts will be on the line. Let's see how the WBO reacts to this. And that's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notifications. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All one word. That's all I got for y'all. I'm gone. Peace.